we will be taking four steps forward to reach our goal and then we'll take a few steps back to see if we're indeed really supporting our own goals. But before I can take the first step I will have to form an intention and I won't be able to make the first step until that intention is good and ready. So here I will take an intention which I think many people will have to have financial freedom, to have sufficient money, not to have to slave so hard just to survive. So this is an intention and most of our thoughts and most of our intentions they actually come from our egos. Our egos are down here, they want to yeah, help us to survive, so they create all these programs and all these intentions. But my spirit might not really be interested in these things. So this is the thing we want to find out right now. So first I will explore this intention on the ego level. So I will think about getting all this money. And I will also try to feel how do I feel about it. How do I feel about rich people? How do I feel about being rich? About not working? And what I'm noticing now is that I have a kind of a negative feeling towards rich people. Like, gosh, they're parasites. Other people are working much harder than they are, but they're not making as, as much money. So I think it's unfair to be rich like that. Also, I feel that yeah, money is really controlling people, so that it is not at all such a positive thing with only good sides to it. So, because my intention is blocked by all these thoughts and images and associations I have, I'm not ready to make this first step towards my goal. So I need to work first to clear my path so I can have a positive intention. So I won't turn into a parasite, I won't be controlled by the power of the money, I won't become a slave to it. Because these are the fears which are holding me back from moving towards my goal. So I need to meditate and to work with my relationship with, in this case, money. first thing is that I should let go of this association between rich people and parasites. It's not money which makes people parasites. People are parasites or they're not. And what parasites do might be sucking money, but that's got nothing to do with it. There's also rich people who are very generous, who support the arts, who help other people, who support charity. So I have to let go of this negative association, this blocking program in myself. So once this is gone, I can work deeper with my intention. But I feel now this discomfort. My God, if I have money, then the money will control me. I will have to take care of the money. People will try to get my money. I'll be working to evade taxes or deadbeat friends who just want to borrow of me or leech of me. So I need to let go of this idea of money being a weight which I have to carry around. And go back towards the more original more spiritual sense of what money is. It's basically a solidified energy. And energy in itself is formless. It can be used for anything. You can use it to go on holidays, to buy a book, to go to visit a doctor. They don't have a problem with energy or with time or with attention in any other form. So why would I have a problem with money? 
because other people don't know how to use it well. You cannot master the energy. It doesn't mean that I can't. So I have to get rid of also this blocking convictions. Then my intention is already feeling much more pure. I feel much more ready to take that first step. To go towards something which is really positive. Instead of, eh, it's got this good side and it's bad side. So. But to be able to do anything, I need to be in a state of harmony. That means that also my spirit, my heart, needs to be in it. At the moment, it's not interested. I can think of lots more interesting things like making these videos than thinking of how to collect money. So I also need to work with my heart so that it will open up towards my intention. So that my intention will be in harmony with my heart. So I'm now thinking also all the people I love, that I care about, that I would like to spend more time with, whom I would like to support, how I would like to have more time for them, and also for more money to do things together with them, to take them out for dinner or treat them on a holiday when they're on a burnout. But the positive side of luxury the interesting spiritual courses I could follow. If only I had that one. Then notice now that both my ego and my heart are welcoming this intention to work and to take, go on my journey towards having more money. So now I feel ready to take this first step. move towards my goal. Now that I've taken this first step, feel if it indeed feels harmonious and stable for you to be here. And if not, take a step back and work on it some more.